Okay, number eight, we're going to solve and graph. <clears throat> so we have 7x plus 7y equals negative 14. And second equation, we have 6y equals negative 6x minus 12. So I'm going to move this uh, 7x over to the other side. That will leave me with 7y equals negative 7x minus 14. Divide everybody by 7. And we get y equals negative x minus 2. Over here, x is already moved over. We just need to divide by 6. And that leaves us <clears throat> with y equals negative x minus 2. So this time we get the same equation for both lines. Negative x minus 2. Okay, so we get the same line. There's an infinite number of solutions when you have the same line. Okay, number nine, we're also going to graph and then solve. <clears throat> so we have negative 3x plus 3y equals negative 24. And then our second equation, 7x plus y equals 8. All right, move x over. Bring down our 3y equals, this will change and become positive this time. So 3x minus 24. Divide everything by 3. And we get y equals x minus 8. And then over here, we just have to move x over. It's going to change sign. So we get y equals negative 7x plus 8. Okay. And that one is solved for y. <clears throat> so we get x minus 8. So this x here will stay minus 8. And then we get negative 7 over here plus 8. I need to be careful. I need a minus sign in front of this one. Okay. So these have graphed. Looks like our solution is positive 2 and down 6. Positive 2, negative 6. So what we're going to say is that this is consistent because it does give us a solution. That solution was positive 2 and negative 6. And then because we got two different lines, they're independent. Okay, Each one of those lines we call independent. 